Hey everybody, it's Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Thank you so much for joining me today again. I am really liking making these pregnancy videos. Um, I am currently uh, almost 19 weeks along. It's been quite the journey. Um, again, I want to make this little mini series out there for all the mothers to be or anyone who's just interested because I really couldn't find very much information out there for pregnant equestrians when I was looking. So I want to share my experiences with you guys as I go along. Um, first of all, riding pants are getting harder and harder to fit into comfortably. I've had to go to like my fatter size riding pants and I'm almost only in tights. And when I do wear pants that have buttons, I like to wear this extender. So there's Velcro on one side and then it goes to your belt loops, one side and then the other. And so anyway, you don't have to, um, button the top button on your pants and that's been really nice uh, to have that option but then my zipper falls down and it's not you know it's not ideal but whatever um luckily right now it's winter so i'm not having to deal with being hot which is super nice because i do not deal well with the heat and um so I'm grateful about that. However, now that I'm in the tr second trimester, I've had a lot of, um, well, I've had my energy come back, which is great, but I've been dealing with a lot of migraines. Like over the past 10 days, I've had six migraines. And I'm not, I'm not talking headaches, guys. I'm talking migraines where I feel like I'm about to throw up. Um, I haven't thrown up yet during pregnancy, but uh, I'm a chronic migraine sufferer and I will vomit if the migraine gets too, too far along. But I uh, haven't gotten that far, but they're so debilitating and it's been terrible. Six and 10 days is a lot. I've got this whole thing that I go through. Um, I do see a chiropractor, I do get regular massages. But I'm also, I'm having trouble like drinking enough water throughout the day because it's colder. Like I drink more in the summer because I'm hot. So that's been hard. Most of my migraines are brought on by dehydration. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, having trouble sleeping. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed these days because uh, time is getting closer. We're almost at the halfway point. We've seen the baby, we don't know the gender by the way, we're gonna wait to find out until delivery because everything with IVF is so like scientific and scheduled, we wanted to have one surprise left and that's a pretty big surprise. So we're keeping that one for ourselves. Um, but when I sleep, sometimes I wonder if like I'm crushing the baby or like I'm dreaming about like, the pregnancy or I mean the delivery dreaming about the, the kid that's gonna come out and you know all the worries that go along with that like are we gonna do things right and stuff like that so having some trouble sleeping so I would almost say that like my second trimester is a little bit harder than my first um, so far anyway, again, I'm almost 19 weeks along and um, yeah, not every pregnancy is the same. I've been looking online for other people who have felt the same and there are some that say the second trimester is a little bit harder than the first because of the sleep problems and the hormonal headaches. So I'm not alone at least, which is nice. Um, so anyway, wearing my tights today and fitting, fitting in them this morning, and they'll probably be quite tight later on, but um, I have, let's see, I think six lessons to teach, and I'm just writing Roman this morning. Um, so it's a pretty heavy teaching day. Um, that means I can sit down a lot, which is good. 
and use my C coach so I won't exhaust myself too much because I also have to teach a lot tomorrow. So working two days back to back can wear me out by the third day. Usually I work every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And so by Sunday, I'm pretty tired. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this day started and I'll take you guys along and let you know how I feel and any other tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. So let's head to the barn. All right, I just got to the barn. I'm gonna teach two lessons uh, to my junior riders who I love dearly but I won't get a video of them. Um, and then I'm gonna ride Roman in the middle of the day. I'm going to teach three, four lessons after that. And yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, haven't had any nausea at all this, or, sorry, haven't vomited at all this pregnancy, but I've had tons of nausea. Um, but that's really subsided in my second trimester. Um, I try and keep myself surrounded with snacks and a variety of liquids to drink. Like today I have um, half Gatorade, half water in one bottle. I've got water mixed with electrolytes in another bottle. I've got um, another of a bo different bottle of juice because I find that if I drink just water, it just kind of isn't as appealing. I don't know. My palate is a little bit sensitive these days um, as I'm pregnant. Um, and for those of you asking, yes, I'm still riding at almost 19 weeks pregnant. I'm hoping to keep riding until I'm six months pregnant. I'm just gonna stop when I stop riding well. You know, I don't think it's gonna do the horses any good if I ride, but I ride poorly. So um, that's my plan. And anyway, come along and we'll get this day started. So I just got done teaching my first two lessons. I'm having a little snack before I ride Roman. My oatmeal. It's been really nice to avoid nausea. Just a couple carbs. Something soothing for the stomach, you know. I feel like I have like six meals a day. <laughs> oh well, I'm not complaining. Got some happy horses on our hands. It's about 45 degrees or so. <clears throat> it's been raining for the past couple of days and it's finally not raining. And somebody's taking a nap. Sunbathing. Hi. Are you excited to go for a ride? Here's Roman. Oh, hello. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think one of the harder things about being an equestrian and riding has been, for me anyway, like a little bit of increased anxiety about, uh -uh, about from other people, maybe who are just trying to look out for me, you know? Um, but, you know, everyone's telling me to like be careful. And I get that. I know I have to be careful. I know I'm doing something, you know, riding is dangerous, especially when you're pregnant. Um, so I wasn't really prepared to deal with that mentally and it kind of gets in my way a little bit sometimes and so I just try try not to put myself in particular uh, peculiar situations I try and just keep sessions short and sweet I really am not trying to like push through things like if it's a spooky really spooky day um, you know I'll lunge the horse first whereas normally I just like hop on and just go and ride through it I'm not able to like ride through stuff I don't have a lot of strength down here these days I don't have I can't ride with like a lot of gusto um, and even sitting the trot to change my posting diagonal is very comfortable 
I'm gonna start standing rather than sitting twice I'm gonna stand twice to change my posting diagonal um, that's gonna be more comfortable uh, to do it that way but so anyway dealing with some anxiety from well-meaning people and the anxiety that I put on myself I guess uh, just trying to be extra cautious and I do feel like that is taking away from excuse me <laughs> from being like the best rider I can be but luckily the horses that I have in training I've known for a while and I feel pretty confident on them and I can read the situation you know I can tell if it's like a bad idea if it's something I shouldn't push through and stuff like that so, like I said, every pregnancy is different. Um, again, just make sure you're talking with your openly with your doctor. Make sure your doctor knows that you're riding and not just like taking pony rides, not just like being led around, but also un have them understand that you're, unless you do rodeos or whatever, that you're not like rodeoing around. Tell them exactly what you're doing and how your body feels. A lot of doctors, mine does, thankfully, but a lot of doctors don't have any idea what being an equestrian entails. They just think like, oh, horse, scary, don't do it, get away. But that's not the case, you know, always. Rarely is it the case. Horses aren't scary and you can control the situation for the most part. But anyway, that's been tricky, but it's also been really helpful to have people in the community to talk to who have been pregnant before and what they did and how they felt and um, yeah. another thing is um, people are starting to want to touch my belly and I'm not really that into that. I think I'm going to get a shirt that says, uh, what, did, what did the shirt say? It said something like, I'm pregnant not furry, don't touch me. <laughs> I think I want to get that shirt. I don't know, I'm kind of, even though I put my life on social media, I, I am kind of a pri more private person. I don't want like random people touching me. Even my family members, I don't want them touching me. Like I don't go up and touch my dad's belly for no reason. So I don't want them to touch my belly. I don't know. I know that's kind of mean, I guess, but that's who I am. I'm mean. Oh well. Anyway, I think Roman's gonna blow the house down if I don't get him out soon. So, let's go for a ride. I know, let's go. So I just had a great ride on Roman. Um, it was shorter than normal. Um, so I don't have much time before my next lesson. I just got, the day got away from me. Um, I'm only riding one horse today. Last week, I worked a 12 hour day at 18 weeks pregnant. Um, and I rode six horses and taught four lessons and I was literally like dead that night and all the next day I had such a massive migraine and I was so overwhelmingly tired I mean my joints even hurt my skin hurt I was just I felt sick really but um, after I slept that night, I felt better the next day, so I wasn't actually sick. I think I was just so exhausted. When you're pregnant, everything changes, and so does your strength and your ability, your stamina. So I find myself riding maybe four horses maximum these days, and um, it's shorter. My rides, my productive rides are shorter. I find myself wanting to do only like 20 or 30 minutes and then the rest of the time could be like groundwork, um, certain type of groundwork. I don't do any groundwork where the horse is going to pull me around, but you know, other stuff or walking. There's no time ever spent wasted in the walk. Um, another problem is I have to pee a lot. <laughs> So I can't get a whole lot done until I have to pee again, which is not very convenient. Um, but anyway, I will leave the description and I will leave in the description section where I got these riding pants. Um, they're Cavallos and they're tights as well as some other riding pants that I've been wearing. And um, in case you're interested as well as that um, 
belt, that, that um, pants extender that I, that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, let me know what you guys think of today's video. Let me know if you have any ideas or questions for future videos. I think I'll make, you know, a couple more of these pregnancy videos as I keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, keep you guys up to date on, on how, what it's like to be a pregnant equestrian, especially a professional pregnant equestrian. By the way, before you guys ask about like what I'm going to do in the future, I have no idea. That's part of why I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Like, do I put the kid in a stall? Do I... I don't know. <laughs> I think a stall, I think a stall might, might be a bad idea. But um, we've talked about getting a nanny. Um, because I want to keep working, I want to definitely keep riding. I want to compete Roman next year if I can, and uh, I want to keep going with the horses. Of course, I'm not. I don't see myself. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I don't see myself just being a stay-at-home mother. I wanna. I want to stick with the horses as well as much as I can and be a good mom. And I think there are plenty of women out there that can do both. Can have a career and a family balance you know but anyway let me know what you guys thought of today's video I'm gonna go off and teach a couple more lessons before I tie up the day and uh, anyway don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time bye